Hello, my name is Father Jack Costello. Thank you very much for taking the time to get to know our faith community a little better by viewing our webpage, and I encourage you to continue to spend some more time getting to know the Epiphany Cathedral faith community a little better, all the good works we're trying to do, as well as how we give our Lord praise and thanks for the many blessings that he gives to us daily. In this part of the webpage, I give a short reflection of the previous Sunday's gospel. The gospel this past week was from Luke, and it was about Jesus curing the ten lepers, nine leave, without saying thanks, and one who had left decides to come back and thank Jesus for all that he's done for him. So it makes us think of gratitude. Are we expressing our gratitude for um, to Almighty God for all the blessings that we receive daily. This month, our church asks us to reflect upon respecting all human life from the moment of conception to the moment of death. And I don't think that's going to happen unless we're grateful people, grateful for our own lives, being very appreciative. But how often are we exactly that, appreciative of the gift of our own life, the life of our loved ones, how often do we express our gratitude then to our Creator for the gift of life that He's given us? I think that we all, for the most part, take that gift of our own life for granted. In fact, we think very little about it, don't we? We go about living our lives, working, going to school, shopping, texting, watching TV, partying, playing with our friends, playing or watching sports, with little thought of the wonder that we are alive and that Almighty God has given us that gift, the gift of life. Therefore, we have little gratitude or regard towards the God who gave each one of us the gift of life. Many years ago, there was a powerful and tyrannic king. His will was law. His subjects obeyed his every decree without question. His rule was absolute and complete. Save for this, he was unable to destroy his people's belief in Almighty God. The king, to try to stop that, summoned his three wisest advisors. He said to them, tell me, where can I hide this people's God so that they will not be able to find him anymore? The first counselor said, Hide their God beyond the forest star. There they will not find him, your majesty. Not so, said the second advisor. One day these people may discover how to travel to the stars. That day they will find their God. Hide him on the ocean floor. No, said the third advisor. One day these people may learn to swim to the bottom of the ocean. That day they will find their God. Your majesty, he said, hide God in the everyday lives of your people. There, no one will ever find him. And so the ancient king hid God in the middle of his subjects' lives, and God was lost to them. Well, as we all know, God is in our everyday lives. And like the nine lepers, we don't realize it. We forget that. And therefore, we're not grateful people to Almighty God. And we may never experience that moment of realization, which was experienced by the grateful leper when he realized how much God had blessed him and changed his life. Realizing, as he did, that God is present here and now with our family and friends, the people we work with, the people we play with, the busyness of our lives and our focus on ourselves removes God from our consciousness. And I also think it's because we're part of this capitalistic, materialistic world. We're constantly bombarded being told the things we don't have, and therefore we focus on what we don't have rather than what we do. And that leads us to be ungrateful. But if we are willing to look, we will find God hiding in our midst in the joy of our children, in the tenderness of our spouse, in the ability we have to bring joy and hope to the lives of others and their ability to do the same for us. In the moment of compassion 
and forgiveness we find God. In the very experience of life itself, if we look, God is right there. In the upcoming week, may we find the grace of God in the everyday and in every one. And one of the things that will help us to do that is not noticing what we don't have, but always being aware of what we do have. Maybe list five things weekly that I have in my life and that I should be grateful for. Or all of us can remember in this great country we live in, if we have money in our pocket or money in the bank, we're in the top 10% of wealth in the world. And therefore, we have a lot to be grateful for. So this week, maybe think about what are some ways you can think of to find God in the everyday and in every one? What are some ways you can think of to show your gratitude to God? Or maybe just reflect upon the why. Why am I not grateful to God every day for his presence, his love, and the so many blessings he's given me in this good life? May God bless you and we'll pray for you as a faith community. Have a great week. God bless.